Fantastic Cloud channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about address resolution protocol. So in this video, we learn about what is ARP, how does the ARP works, ARP header, ARP terms like ARP request, ARP reply or response, ARP case, ARP case timeout. Then we'll discuss about types of ARP, which is proxy ARP, gracious ARP, inverse ARP and reverse ARP. And we'll also discuss about some of the ARP methods like table lookup, ARP dynamics and closed form computation. So let's, let's first discuss about what is ARP. So as we know that ARP is called as address resolution protocol. ARP generally deals with the MAC address and it's a layer 2 protocol. Why it is a layer 2 protocol? Because it is defined under the data link layer of the OSI module. So this MAC address is being maintained in the ARP table and devices uses the existing MAC address to connect with the other device in the network. So ARP table maintain the MAC address and devices use that MAC address to connect to the other device. Then ARP used broadcast. ARP broadcast used for the new connections. Also, so ARP generally this ARP convert the 32 bit means the IP address to the MAC address. IP address is 32 bit and MAC address is the 40 bit, 48 bit address. Let's see that how does the ARP works. So let's first create a scenario. Here we have a switch computer A that will be source computer B computer C computer D that will be as destination. So when a source device or computer want to communicate with another device or computer so for this the source machine check its ARP table. If it has the MAC address in the ARP table it will use that MAC address for the communication with the destination device. If it does not have the MAC address or if it is a new connection then it will broadcast the ARP request message on the local network. So in the ARP packet frame you will also see a something like this op code op code means operation code so operation code denote about whether it is a arp request message or it's a arp reply message so you will see so there is one use for arp request and number two use for arp reply now in the source first we'll see the arp request in the arp request message source puts its own MAC address that will be in our scenario computer A means PC A MAC address then source IP that will be again PC A IP computer A IP op code op code so operation code will be one because it is a ARP request message then destination IP so destination IP will be the computer D this IP this computer IP will be destination IP and destination MAC will be as blank so this ARP request will be broadcast to the local network now each of the device on the network will first compare the IP address of the destination with their own IP if it match with their own IP then the destination device will send the ARP reply if not then in that case they will simply discard the packet Let's say if a device IP matched with the destination IP of the ARP request, then the destination device will update its own ARP table and store the MAC address in the source device. So in this scenario, computer D is the destination device. So computer D will update its ARP table with the source MAC address that, he, that it has received in the ARP request. Now, computer D will reply back to the computer A as saying ARP reply. So in the ARP reply computer D will put their source MAC address. So now it is ARP reply means the packet is going from D to A from this computer D to computer A. So the source MAC will be for computer D and source IP will be for computer D again. 
op code operation code will be 2 because it is the arp reply that is denoting about the arp reply then destination mac so now the destination mac will be computer a mac why it is saying computer a mac because now the computer d knows about the mac address of the arp request source machine that is why it is it is replying to computer a now it will put also a destination ip of computer a so arp request always will be a broadcast message and arp reply will be always unicast message let's now discuss about the some example of arp frame so here is the example of arp frame from a wireshark output so in this picture you can see that it is a arp request message how it is a arp request message because it has the operation code of 1 that is called as arp request now here you can see you will see the source mac address this one sender ip means the source ip address 10.2 target ip address is 0 because it is a broadcast message arp request message so this computer a does not know about the destination r so it is sending target mac address or destination mac address as 0 then target ip address will be the computer d means the destination computer ip now let's see the arp reply message so this in the arp reply message you will see address resolution protocol that will be a reply why it is a reply because it is identified as operation code of 2 it is a arp reply now here we have the sender mac address the source mac address now from the computer d so the destination is now replying back with the source mac address of its own mac address then its own ip address source ip address then the target mac address so now the target mac address is the mac address of the arp request source machine and the target ip address is the source ip of the arp request machine 10.2 so this is the arp request and arp reply in the wireshark output now let's discuss about some of the arp terms so arp term the first term is arp request so this arp request is used to send or you can say validate the destination mac address and it's a broadcast message it's always will be a broadcast message then another one is arp reply or you can say arp response so this this is used by a destination device that destination device send a reply or response to acknowledge over arp request and it's always will be a unicast message that is the terminology of arp then there is another one arp case so arp case this this arp case is used to maintain the arp table arp table entry of the mac address for the future references for the future communication with the similar devices for which it has maintained the mac address then there is the arp cassette timeout this terminology so this terminology is st state about the life span of a mac address that will be available in the arp table which is very less that is between 15 15 and 45 seconds so these are the some terminologies of arp now let's discuss about arp method so the arp method first method says about table lookup so this table lookup uses the data link layer it is you can also say it's been used by the data link layer to check the protocol address to find the hardware address it check the ip address to find the mac address second one is arp dynamics or simply dynamic so this arp dynamic generally being used for just in time resolution where the data link layer send message request in a hardware address when destination responds so whenever a destination respond in that case data link layer send the message request on the hardware level the last one is closed form computation so this closed form computation is being used by the data link layer or you can say the data link layer obtain the hardware address means the mac address from the protocol address so this method closed form computation method is being used to obtain hardware address from the protocol address so these are all about as of now what is arp and how does arp works and some of the arp methods and arp terminology in the next video we'll discuss about types of arp and arp header so thank you for watching stay tuned and uh, Please like, comment, share and subscribe and let
us know in the comment if you have any doubt any query or if you have any topic in your mind we'll be very happy to help you thank you so much